Structures in the halam of the liver. Structures in the halam of the liver. As we said before, that the liver has a possibly the bordal vein from the hepatic artery. Bordal vein and the hepatic artery. In addition to that, the liver makes some chemical, which is the bile. The bile, as we know, is a chemical important in the absorption of some of the food. Okay, this is the bile. The bile is uh, made in the liver and moved through the, the, the duct called the hepatic duct to be used. Okay. How could the portal vein, the hepatic artery, and the bile duct come in or out of the liver? It needs a door or the port, a port to come to, to give it the access to come in the liver. This door or this port is called the porta hepatis. Porta hepatis. The porta hepatis is the door or the transverse fissure on the visceral surface of the liver. I will focus on visceral surface. If we look to the visceral surface of the liver, we can say, see there a transverse fissure called porta hepatis. It is the door or the port that access the portal vein, the hepatic artery, and the bile duct to come in or out of the liver. As usual, let's move to the graph. Okay. This is the liver. This is the portal vein. And here is our friend, the hepatic artery and the bile duct. They all come into the liver through a visceral a transverse fissure called the porta hepatis. The porta hepatis. Okay, this is the porta hepatis, which is, which is the transverse fissure on the visceral surface of the liver. Okay, okay. Let's move to the other point I will mention. As we said before that there is many ligament peritoneal reflections of the liver that links it to different structures. For example, the triangle ligaments that link it to the diaphragm. And we said that there is a peritoneal reflection that links the liver to the stomach. Here's the stomach, great and lesser caventure. There's a peritoneal reflection that links the liver to the stomach and this peritoneal reflection is called the laser omentum. The laser omentum, okay? As we can see here, there is a free... A okay, let's just get it back. We can see here a free a free edge of this laser omentum okay this is the free edge of the laser omentum okay I will mention something else that at the free edge of the laser omentum the laser omentum become more thick and form a ligament form a ligament which is the hebaric Duodenal ligament. Okay, um, here. Okay, here it becomes more thick and make some ligament. Okay, this is the ligament. The hebere duodenal <laughs> ligament very bad font hebere duodenal ligament links on the free edge of the liver links the liver to the duodenal in this 
hepatic duodenal ligament, we can find the structures of the hilum of the liver. We can find the structures of the hilum of the liver, which are the portal vein and is situated posteriorly, the portal vein, the hepatic artery, hepatic artery, and finally the bile duct, the bile duct, okay? It's so in the hepatoduodenal ligament, on the free edge of the laser omentum, free edge of the laser omentum. Let's move to the graph. Let's move to the graph. Okay, this is a very clear and good graph. Shows that laser omentum that links the liver to the laser curvature of the stomach. And at the free edge, we have got the hepatoduodenal ligament. Here it is. Thick hepato duodenal ligament, and in this ligament, we can find the bile duct, the hepatic artery, and posteriorly, we can find the portal vein. Posteriorly, we can find the portal vein. So, A is the hepato duodenal ligament, B is the stomach. C is the hepatic artery, E is the bile duct, and D is the hepatic artery again. Hepatic artery again. Okay. Another photo. Mm -hmm. Here it is. Okay. This is the laser omentum, the free edge, the hepatoduodenal ligament, hepatic artery. Bile duct and the portal vein. Bile duct and the portal vein. In addition to these structures, we have also nerves and lymphatics into the liver at the border hepatis. But these are the portal triad, the portal triad, which are the important vessels or important canals that come in the liver. So we just mentioned them without mentioning the nerves and the lymphatics into the liver in the other poor inhibitors, okay? Let's talk about the anatomical relationship of these structures. The anatomical relationship of these structures. Okay? We have first the portal vein. This is the portal vein. The portal vein situated posteriorly to both hepatic artery and the bile duct. Okay, it is in the posterior side of these two structures, the hepatic artery and the bile duct. And the hepatic artery is above and medially. The common hepatic artery is above and medially and finally we can find the bile duct above and laterally. Above and laterally, okay? This is the bile duct. A variable points, the hepatic artery, as we say, branch to give the left hepatic artery and the right hepatic artery. I want to say something that the uh, okay let's just move to another photo to explain something and we will back again this is the right big loop of the liver oops i always just oppose oppose oh okay this is the okay this is the liver uh, the bile duct uh, comes from the liver is called the hepatic duct, the hepatic duct, okay? And there is a gallbladder in the uh, visceral surface of the liver. We'll talk about it uh, in details later.
okay? But from this gallbladder uh, cystic duct comes, okay? And join the hepatic duct to form the common bile duct, to form the common bile duct. So, hepatic duct, cystic duct, and common bile duct, common bile duct, okay? Just let, let us pack. Here is the hepatic duct and here is the cystic duct. And this is the common bile duct. Okay, let's get back to the hepatic artery. The hepatic artery branches to the left hepatic and to the right hepatic. The right, some, in some cases, the right hepatic is posterior to the hepatic uh, duct. Okay? In some cases, it is anterior to the hepatic duct. It is extremely variable. Okay? Some of them are posterior and some of them are anterior. Okay. So, after it crosses the uh, hepatic duct either anteriorly or posteriorly, the right hepatic artery, this is the right hepatic artery, gives a branch which is the cystic artery. Cystic artery and cystic artery they just uh, go or continues to the gallbladder, supplies the gallbladder. Okay, so we have portal vein posteriorly and a hepatic artery branch at the variable level to give that left hepatic artery and the right hepatic artery, which uh, may be either posterior and or anterior to the a uh, hepatic duct and then the cystic artery and we have the bile duct which is uh, which start as a hepatic duct and cystic duct and join at some point to form the common hepatic duct common hepatic duct now let's show you a graph uh, to show you the relationships this is the portal vein posteriorly, the hepatic artery, this is the left hepatic artery, and then the right hepatic artery, here it is posterior to the uh, hepatic duct, okay, and after that it gives the cystic duct, here is the, uh, uh, sorry, the cystic artery, this is the cystic artery, and here is the uh, cystic duct, and the hepatic duct, and the common hepatic duct or the bile duct. Common hepatic. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. The common hepatic duct is uh, the result of joining of the right hepatic duct with the left hepatic duct. Okay, this is the common hepatic duct. But the uh, result of joining common hepatic duct with the cystic duct is the bile duct. Bile duct. Okay, is the bile duct. So. This is the common hepatic duct. It comes from the uh, okay, let's draw it in the green color from joining of the left and right hepatic duct. Here is the common hepatic duct, and this is the cystic duct. And the joining of common hepatic duct with cystic duct gives us the bile duct. Bile duct. These just give attention to this point okay okay uh, I will now move to to talk about the portal vein we say that the portal vein uh, drains the bowel we said that the portal vein drains the bowel I think I have a good photo shows how, how does it do that how does it do that okay this is the portal vein comes from the mainly splenic, splenic, splenic vein and the superior mesenteric artery notice it 2 s 2 s is splenic vein superior mesenteric vein and the inferior mesenteric vein in summary it is it drains 
the bowel, it drains the bowel. This is about the pearl vein, okay? Uh, and this is about the structures in the hilum of the liver. I think I have a real photo, real photo, okay? It's just this is the porta hibitis, the porta hibitis. I have just another good one to show you the paroduodenal ligament. Laser momentum, and the free edge as a paroduodenal ligament. Paroduodenal ligament. See you in the next video. I'm sorry, I, in this video I, I was very slow, but I think you have to understand the relationship the relationship between uh, the portal vein, the hepatic artery, and the uh, uh, bile duct, it has some very important aspects in the surgery. Okay.